Welcome back. Uh, where I left you off last time, I was just listening to this unspeakable oh, cat's geez, evil geez, plan geez. to tell Camilla his feelings. I wish there was a way I could warn her about both of these losers. Let's let's go talk to Sven. Local favorite, and Feindall thinks he can woo Camilla Valerius away from me. She's truly. Oh. So maybe my mother isn't crazy after all. You had best tell the Jarl in Whiterun. He needs to know about this. Yeah, probably. <sighs> what is this? The elf playing a treachery? Shocking. <laughs> As if I would write this dribble. How about we play a bit of a turnabout with fate? Here. I had to use simple words, but this letter should convince Camilla it's from him. <laughs> I'd better get going. Been sitting in that barrel for over a month. This is an ode to Skyrim's yep. staunch and protectors. You'll take care of it? Don't I always? I don't suppose I could convince you to take care of it now, could I? No. Well, there's something to be said for honesty, I suppose. Drive out the storm cloaks and restore what we own. The blood and our steel, we will take back our own. Well, down with Hmm. Let's go give Camilla a letter. It means so much. It's a fine day with you around. What are you talking about? What's in the letter? Oh my. He... He wanted me to think Fandal wrote this? Thank you for telling me the truth. Could you talk to Fandal as well? I'm sure he'll want to thank you for standing up for him. Oh, again. Huh. They both wanted... They both wanted it to mislead her, so... Really, this is a very dumb quest. You, you shouldn't take pride in the fact that one of them wanted to deceive you less than the other. They both wanted deception, after all. There's nothing particularly noble about the forms of deception that they both so readily took nope. part in. Sorry. Tell me as soon as you've given Camilla the letter. I appreciate your help. Please, take this. Some gold I've saved up from working at the mill. Hmm. I'll show you what I know. I don't need... No, I don't need archery training. I can do that on my own. Yeah, I only bother to do archery training when, you know, I've already gotten what I need. You know, like, when I have enough gold to train for archery, I'll train it. But not until then. Wish there were one of these signs at every intersection. Dead and Helgen. Mora Tapanella. <laughs> well, apparently the deer was not intelligent enough to know it was being attacked. No matter, I'll have some nice venison to sell when I get into town. Ooh! Pesky wolf. Oh. 
Yes, they're too scared to come back across the river after me. So, I'd say this is just about even. This must be a scripted event. Every time I come here, there's a procession of Imperial workers carrying this storm-cloaked soldier. Imperial business. Be on your way. If you know any true sons of God, what the? But I didn't free the prisoner. Well, apparently the Imperial Guardsmen are kind enough to put down their arms whenever somebody puts down theirs. Yeah, I, I, I probably would have wound up with a bounty for that one anyway. Hunting Brew Meadery. Hmm. Chill for O Farm. Yeah, the wide open tundra of White Run is quite beautiful to behold. Oh, apparently they just slayed a giant. How cool. Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. Certainly not. But <laughs> a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, an order, and we show up to solve problems if the uh, is good enough. Not for me, the old man. If you go to him, good luck. <laughs> well, that was weak. You look strong. Come to your basker and be a companion. Honestly, just passing by here, and there's a random giant getting attacked by people. I mean, it's not like giants are inherently hostile in Skyrim. They really are more just neutral. They don't like having their territories encroached upon. Though one showing up in the middle of a farm really isn't that nice. Hmm. Oh, look, the caravan's in town. Kajit welcomes you, and also your coin. Hmm. It is all in this note. Ah, bandit attack notes. Take a look. Hmm. Ingredients. I have a creation club mod that adds in an, a large amount of. Uh, Ingredients from the uh, Morrowind and Oblivion eras. And from the Shivering Isles also. May your road lead you to warm sands. Yep. Warm sands, he says. Warm sands. Huh. You know, you'd think they'd spruce up their old walls here. Going along. Oh, 
Holt. City's closed with the dragons about. <laughs> Official business only. Fine. But we'll be keeping an eye on you. No matter what I said, no matter what I said, he would have let me in. I'm not going to bribe my way into the city after all. We'll pay whatever it takes, but we must have more swords for the Imperial soldiers. I just can't fill an order that size on my own. Why don't you swallow that stubborn pride of yours and ask Yorland Greymane for help? <laughs> I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Oh, I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric Stormcloak. Yeah, they're such assholes. You look so Let me guess. They're oh, saying it's because of this trouble with the Stormcloak. Exactly. Hmm. I know your family's honor is important to you, but we can't afford it. It took me weeks to find that beast. Give me your money. I can't get the Let's go to the Hall of the Dead. Hmm. Nice pencil. Tell me, do you believe in mighty RK, God of life and death? I'm glad to know that because I need your help. You see, I've lost something precious. My amulet of Arc. Oh yeah, the amulet. The source of my divine powers. Yeah, that's the reason he lets us into the catacombs. I misplaced it in the catacombs. I'd look for it, but I have been hearing noises down there. I fear the dead have become restless. Yes, Without definitely. Without that amulet, I'm powerless to confront them. Would you be willing to search for it? I'll just mm -hmm. wait here and make sure nothing foul escapes the catacombs. You just said you were powerless. How are you going to make sure that doesn't happen? And also, why is it that Whiterun couldn't muster the forces to do this themselves? I mean, they're just skeletons after all. They're not even much stronger than wolves, really. It's kind of embarrassing. To say the least, I mean, <clears throat> ow, damn. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Ah, nice coin purses. <laughs> yeah, that's more than enough skeletons. Hmm. Ah, just what I was looking for. A stone of Baron Zaya. Hmm, what's this? There are caravaneers in the area, apparently. Amulet of RK. Found it. Okay, and it seems the skeletal infestation is over. Mm -mm. I spend so much time among the dead, I sometimes forget how much I miss the company of the living. Yep. With this terrible. There's oh, your amulet. Thank okay. Please take this gold for your troubles. Well, okay then, people. 
Uh, we have now once again reached our time limit for the episode. And uh, I would like to say to all of you, it has been quite fun playing in this session. So I will see you all next time. Goodbye.